So GSS, um, Geospatial Semester, is through James Madison University uh, in Virginia. And um, although it's through the university, uh, maybe for me, three-fourths of the kids are taking it for college credit. Some are not. They sort of have that choice at the start of the year. But regardless, all the kids are doing the same work. They're doing, they're learning the same thing. There's really no difference between those two groups. And here at Fairfax, we have five classes of, of geospatial, which comes out to 135 students or so. They're, they're looking at real world examples, real world scenarios. How do the professionals do this? How do the professionals illustrate to the public this thing that's happening. Mm -hmm. um, so they get presentation skills, they get that experience. Most days, basically, um, I'll chat for a few minutes with them, uh, give them some scenario that we're looking at. I would show them how we would solve it. So I'll actually run through a tutorial of a certain analysis tool that we're doing or, or something like that. Then I give them their assignment. Their assignment's maybe the last hour of class. So using what we just learned and using this real world scenario, make me this. For bigger projects, um, something that I'll count as sort of a summative grade for the quarter or for, for a certain uh, weighted grade that I have, if I have them send it to me, they have to make sure their work is shared publicly and they just email me the, the link to the final product. Um, in the past, I've set up groups for class periods and so if they share their project with the group, I can go into the group folder and just make sure I look at everything on my own time. Since we spend most of the year in the online environment, ArcGIS Online, I, I would say by day two or three, they're, they're more than comfortable with at least knowing you go to add and search for layers to look for data. Right. They know that um, my content means their own work right. and my org means work within our school. and online means work in the great beyond that that other organizations have created mm -hmm. so they know sort of how to differentiate if they have to look for data what where do they look they understand that they would know the living atlas within the app builder in particular the dashboard um, which is fairly new um, it can be fairly complex and i've been surprised how quickly they've they've latched onto the dashboard because there's complete freedom if you want to show you know four different graphs going on if you want to filter your data if you want to um, you know have everything just laid out in in one place and I think a lot of them like that yeah. they like being able to to customize and to pick and choose what components they want ArcGIS online so much of what is is useful in desktop is already there but I think it's it's just more intuitive um, I think it's it makes the teacher feel more confident that there's not as much room uh, to, to break something or to, to click on the wrong thing. It's just laid out in a more presentable way. And so um, I think setting up an org is quite easy. Um, if you have a spreadsheet of usernames, you send it off to the up, upload it to the website and, and everything's pretty much done for you. You can do a lot in the ArcGIS Online uh, without the org to start, yeah. to just get the kids comfortable with where things are and how to look at imagery and how to look at topo maps and how to, how to look up addresses and things like that, how to add data. And then when you're at a comfortable place to start manipulating that, the org comes in. Thank you.